Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the YouTube channel of JJ Prime Reviews. And today we will be taking a look at the Transformer Studio Series number 108 Deluxe Class Rise of the Beast Wheeljack. Yes, that's right. Wheeljack from Rise of the Beast. I am so glad I finally found this figure. He's a very solid figure, in my opinion. Now, you're probably asking the question Hey, JJ, why are you starting this guy in robot mode? Shouldn't you. And your figures in robot mode anyway? Well, yeah, I do end in robot mode, but for this figure, I want to uh, start in robot mode because I want to show you how to transform this guy from robot mode to vehicle mode without any issues. And it's a sm it'll be a smooth process for you guys once you know the trick. Yes, I did find out the trick on transforming this guy very, very smoothly. And I will show that off in a little bit, but for now, we're going to show some various images of the packaging itself. So let's get it on, man, let's go. And here we have Wheeljack fully transformed into his robot mode. So um, before we go into deep detail with the robot mode, let us transform this guy into his vehicle mode so, I can, so that I can show you how to transform this figure without any issues. So um, first things first, you want to take the arms, you're going to rotate them up and just bring them up all the way. Get them out of the way, rotate them up, bring that up on the hinge, just like so. So now you can take the doors and just bring them inward, not all the way, just bring them inward only that far. And then you can take this section right here, just rip that out, and then flip this out like so, and leave that for now. So now you can take this whole section right here, this whole body section, and just rock this up like so. And you can just rotate this 180, and there you go. So now for the legs here, you want to take the uh, the knees and rotate them at the knee. Take the legs, rotate them at the knee, just like that. And take the heel spurs, put them in, fold them in, and then push the foot in, just like so. Push the foot in, like that. Open up the panel, open up the panel, and then you can sandwich the two together, like so. So there we have the legs situated. So now. We take these doors, we just bring them out just like so. Now here is where the problem lies because I know a lot of people have had clearance issues with this figure, So, but here is the trick. So the trick is you don't need to um, follow the instructions. Uh, <laughs> the instructions The instructions suck by the way. So yeah, so just bring this down, bring the arms down as you are going to robot mode like so, uh, like that. And then just bring the arms down bring the arm down just like that now we, we are now we are stuck here so we could just take the arm here rotate them at the elbow just like that and flip out this panel right now so there we go and then just take this section right here rotate it and then flip out the panel just like so so now you can see the doors have this uh, the spacing right here which is perfect for the uh, for the arm to get in there so we can use that to your advantage, and then you can just bring this down all the way. There we go. Nice and easy. There we go. Yeah, nice and easy. So now I can do the same thing on the other side, and just bring that in. There we go. Easy. Easy. So there we go. And now we can take the doors, and you can flip them in, tap them in, make sure that there's a tab going through a slot right in there. So just tap that in, just like that and tap in the other door, tap that in, and then bring this up and make sure everything is tabbed in. And now you don't even need to rotate the waist anymore to, to uh, get the clearance ready. So now you can just take the arms and just rotate them up, rotate them up, and just tap that in. And you can take this section right here, just clip that in like so. And then you can take the legs and just bring them up like that, like so and then fold down the legs and you can see that there is a peg that we're going to the port right in there so just peg it right there peg it right there make sure everything is lined up properly everything is flushed then you can take the panels and tap them in tap them in and you can take these panels bring them up and they will tab in right in there Everything is nice and squozen. 
And there you go. There we have Wheeljack back into his vehicle mode. And the vehicle mode looks really good in my opinion. It's a nice officially licensed Volkswagen van. Definitely looks way better than the mainline version in my opinion. Because <laughs> the mainline version is not uh, it's not in, it's not a licensed Volkswagen, you know, for the mainline version. The Studio Series version definitely has the Volkswagen license. Nice paintwork on the Volkswagen logo. Nice sort of paint all around the figure. Love the I love how they painted the doors, so the door handles and everything. Uh, Reparacion de TV Pablo. <laughs> I guess that's why people call him Pablo because the name Pablo is just literally there <laughs> on the sides of each uh, on, on each side of the view commode. So I, that, that's hilarious. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and one th and one funny thing about this figure is that his head is just just faintly visible right behind the windshield <laughs> and just. <laughs> that's just hilarious. That's just so funny. That's just that's just amusing. That is just absolutely fun. <laughs> oh jeez. Um, yeah, he's just a brown and white van and everything. He's got the black paint on the back windshield and everything. But the rest of the windows are done in the translucent plastic. So yeah, all in all, very nicely done vehicle mode. It's very solid. Everything tabs in very well. And as you saw, the transformation was actually pretty smooth, pretty enjoyable, so I, I had no complaints with the transformation because doing that trick really helps you a lot, you know, really helps you to enjoy this figure way, way more. So, yeah, yeah, very nicely done. Very nicely done, Vio Komodo, in my opinion. He rolls, he rolls very, very smoothly. I do quite like that. So, he does include an accessory of his own, but I had to look for the accessory, so I'll be right back. Get it! There's the accessory. So he comes with this clear gun, which he never used in the movie itself, so it's, uh, not screen accurate. I wish he had come with the arm cannons that he had in the movie, but oh well, it is what it is. So you can actually store the uh, gun in vehicle mode, so there is this long slot right here, so you can use that at your, for your advantage. Uh, no, no, no. Use this slot for the gun to store, and it looks totally ridiculous, but hey, okay. <laughs> but there we go, that's how you store the gun in view mode. But yeah, it, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of uh, the, the 86 Iron Height gun. It, it kind of does look like that, but anyway. So, anyway, let's put this gun off to the side for now, and we shall get into some size comparisons. Here is Wheeljack compared with his wave mate. Scorpionock and wow, look at the size of Scorpionock compared with Wheeljack. <laughs> Damn, that, that that is a big scorpion. That is definitely a really big scorpion compared to a Volkswagen van. But anyway, moving on. Here is Rise of Beast Wheeljack compared with his previous incarnation, Bumblebee movie Wheeljack. And uh, yeah, um, how this became this, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's canonically the same Wheeljack, you know, it's in the same universe and everything. So I don't know how this guy became this one. Um, and as a matter of fact, they don't share the same color scheme because this Wheeljack is more brown and white and everything. He's this guy, this Wheeljack is more the traditional G1 Wheeljack color scheme with the green and the red and the white and everything. So. Yeah, they didn't really explain it that much in Rise of the Beast, so... <laughs> and he, he changed accents too, so I don't know. I don't know, but, but anyway, uh, moving on. And here we have the Rise of the Beast Autobot crew in Studio Series form. So we have Optimus Prime, Mirage, Bumblebee, RC, and the core class Noah Diaz. I mean, he's... Okay, um, <laughs> but they all look really good together, although the scaling is not great because the motorcycle is as big as a van and it's bigger than a car, so... <laughs> so yeah, the scaling is not that great, but, um, but nevertheless, they still look really good together, so... There you go, that's pretty much it for the ultimate comparisons right here. And now let us transform Wheeljack back into his robot mode. So transformation from alt to robot mode is actually quite, quite easy. So it's easier to go from alt to robot compared to robot to alt mode. So, 
So first things first, you want to take these panels, put them up, and then bring bring this over all the way. Just bring them over, just like so. And then take these panels, untap them, untap these panels, just like so. You can take the legs here, just unpeg them, and then bring them up all the way. And as you do that, you can take the arms and split them, split them like that, like so. And then you can take the uh, the front part of the vehicle, just unclip this, unclip, unclip, oh, it clips in very securely. So just unclip this and then flip this panel in, like so. So now you can take the legs, just bring them down all the way, split the legs, rotate them to the forefront, whoops, <laughs> rotate them to the forefront, just like that, and then close up these panels, close up these panels, and then take the feet, bring them up, like so. And then flip out the heel spur, and that will click into place. And then bring the foot out, flip out the heel spur, and that will click into place. So, so there we got the lower body all done and ready. I need to zoom out so that you can see what I am doing. Ooh, zoom out a bit more. Zoom out a bit more. There we go. So now we can take uh, the arms here, just untap them from these uh, these tabs in the doors. So just untap these sections right here, bring them up, and then you can take the doors and just swing them out like so, so that you have clearance to bring the arm out, just like so. Just bring them out all the way, just like that. Do the same thing on the other side, just swing them out, swing them out, bring them out all the way, and then you can take the doors, close them up, Rotate this 180 and then bring this whole section down and click into place And then you can take this whole back panel and just bring it down until it clicks into place And then bring the doors out all the way Just like so and bring the arms down Bring the arms down just like so Rotate arm flip in the panel Rotate arm and then close up those panels close up the panel and I believe we're done. Are we done? Yes, we're done. Ooh, we're done. So there we go. There is Wheeljack fully transformed into his robots mode. And molding wise, the robot mode looks really good in my opinion. I've always dug this new design of Rice Beast Wheeljack, even though it doesn't really look like the Wheeljack that we know and love. I think he still has a pretty cool design, you know. I, I think I dig it. I really dig the design of this robot mode. I pretty much I pretty much dig it. So that's getting close here so we can take a look at the head sculpt. Yes, that is Rise of the Beast Wheel Jack with the glasses and everything. <laughs> with the goggles and everything. And a nice little paint for the face though. I do quite like that. Nice blue for the eyes as well. So yeah, he has a really Interesting head sculpt and it's a good-looking head sculpt as far as I'm concerned uh, nice Autobot logo sculpted on the chest and He's got the suspenders which are the seat belts, but they are suspenders <laughs> So which I think is clever. I think it's pretty cute. So yeah nice detailing on the legs uh, on, on, on the shins right here um, But definitely he could have used a bit more paint, you know could have used a bit more paint to break up the brown and everything, they needed more paint on the thighs, needed more paint on the shoulders and everything, on the arms as well. Yeah, definitely could have used a bit more paint, but molding wise, sculpting wise, I think he looks pretty good. He doesn't have much of a backpack. Um, the wings are definitely screen accurate as far as how they look in general. Um, they definitely should have made them more uh, screen accurate as far as position goes. Um, but oh well, it is what it is, you know, I don't really care that much, so. Yeah, but anyway, uh, yeah, all in all, looks pretty good in my opinion, and it's quite filled in. Yeah, yeah, quite filled in all around. So, so yeah, all in all, very nicely done robot mode in my opinion. So, uh, as far as articulation goes, the head is on a ball joint. It can rotate a full 360. He can look up a little bit, can't really look down uh, the doors are in the way so the arms won't be able to do a full 360 but they can technically do a full 360 but the the, the doors get in the way so yeah and for as far and and using the transformation hinge as well you can actually use that if you really want to um and the arms can move in and out on a 
weird ratchet joint. Uh, no biceps, but he does have a swivel at the elbow. He does have an elbow joint over 90 degrees right there. He does have a waist rotation. Uh, legs can move up the far, can move back, only that far. Um, and he can, yeah, no, the, the legs can move outward that far. Uh, he does have a thigh swivel. He technically has a knee, double jointed knee because there's a ball joint at the base right there and then there's a hinge right in there so you get you get a good range of movement for the knees so that's good um and then the feet can move up and down and of course he has ankle tiltage right there which makes me very very happy i love it when a figure has ankle tilts i love it absolutely love it and of course the wings you can position however you want but i prefer to leave them like that so there we go. Uh, one other gimmick that he's missing is the ears because we saw in Rise of the Beast that he had the ears for one second and then you don't see them anymore. <laughs> I think that's that, that's the, the writer's way of uh, shutting us out because, uh, <laughs> because when this design was first revealed by the designers, um, a lot of fans were really upset that Wheeljack's design was drastically changed so much from the Bumblebee movie, you know? It it changed so much because we have no idea how the Bumblebee movie design changed into this. So, yeah, um, a lot of fans got upset, but I didn't really get upset. I'm, I'm more willing to accept uh, newer designs of uh, the characters that we know and love, you know? Yeah, I, I'm, 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 I'm that, you know? I'm that kind of person who likes the newer designs um, and accepts and accepts them for uh, for what they are. So, and I do, and I do accept this new design for Wheeljack. Um, I do quite like him. I do quite like the design. I think it's cool. It's a brand new take on the character, and I'm fine with that. So, now you can take the gun and put it into his hand. Um, again, it's really not screen accurate, but hey, it's still a gun nonetheless. So he can uh, shoot things, shoot at the Terracons, or shoot at some Decepticons, if you will. So. There we go, there we go. So now, let us bring in some size comparisons. Here is Wheeljack compared with his wave mate, Scorponok. And here we have Wheeljack compared with the previous incarnation of himself, the Bombi movie version of Wheeljack. And uh, again, how this became this, we don't know. We have no idea, they never explained it in the movie, but oh well. And there you go, there we have the Autobot team there, so yeah, very very cool, very cool, I love these Autobots so much, we got, we got RC, we got Noah Diaz, we got Bumblebee, Mirage, and Optimus Prime, and uh, yeah, they all look really good together, uh, we just need Stratosphere, he's the final Autobot that we need to complete the Studio Series Autobot roster, so yeah, he's the final one, final one that we need, but but as far as main cast, I'm pretty much done here. I'm pretty much done. Uh, I'm so glad I finished the main cast of Rise of the Beast Autobots. So, yay! But anyway, so there you go. That's pretty much it for the robot mode comparisons right here. Okay, so here are my final thoughts on the Transformers Studio Series number 108 Deluxe Class Rise of the Beast Wheeljack and a very nicely done figure in my opinion. You know, the robot mode looks pretty good. Uh, the vehicle mode looks really good too. I love the way the vehicle mode looks. It looks wonderful in my opinion. Uh, pretty good articulation for robot mode. I, I will I, I do appreciate that. Very nice articulation. Uh, the transformation is actually pretty smooth and pretty enjoyable. You know, once you once you know the trick on how to transform this figure smoothly, then you're totally fine, you know? Uh, th th that is why I did the double transformation for this review, because I wanted to show you how you can transform the figure from robot to alt mode without any issues. I mean, from alt mode to robot mode is no issues. There's no issues with that. It is a smooth sailing from vehicle mode to robot mode. It's only from robot mode to alt mode that people have had a lot of issue with. So now you know the trick. <laughs> you're not supposed to follow the instructions. If you follow the instructions, then you're, you're, you're dead. <laughs> because the instructions suck. They are... No, no. They don't like the instructions. The instructions... The way the instructions tell you to do it is just... 
it's just no it's just it's just bad it's just bad <laughs> so yeah so don't follow your instructions yeah now you can yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> basically my point is this video is useful for you guys to uh, figure out the trick on how to transform this guy smoothly from robot to old mode so so yeah, now my experience with this figure has become a lot better, so now I can enjoy this figure, so yeah, definitely a fun figure to mess with as far as I'm concerned. And um, my only real complaint with this figure is the lack of paint. He definitely could have used a bit more paint here and there, and he definitely could have used the screen accurate cannons, because this one, eh, 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 <laughs> um, the, uh, the doors, the door wings, I could care less, you know, it, it, it's fine. At least he still has the door wings, just like he had them in the movie, so just the way they're positioned is not screen accurate, but it is what it is. But all in all though, I'm very pleased with this figure and I'm so glad that I finally have this figure in my collection. I've been wanting this I've been wanting this guy from the Studio Series line and I'm so glad I got it. Yay! So, if I were to rank this guy from a scale of 1 to 10, I think I'm going to give him a solid 8 out of 10. Yeah, 8 out of 10. I think he deserves it. I think he deserves it. Uh, they definitely could have engineered the arms a little bit better. Um, and definitely could have used a bit more paint. But other than that, very fun figure. I like him. I do quite like him. So. Alrighty, so that is pretty much it for today's video review. So ladies and gentlemen, if you are completely new to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. And while you're at it, click that notification bell icon down below as well so that you will never miss any of my future reviews. And you can always check out my Studio Series Reviews playlist. There will be a link to that playlist in the description down below. And I think that's pretty much it for me to say. So there you have the Transformer Studio Series number 108, Deluxe Class, Rise of the Beast, Wheeljack. And this is JJ Prime signing off. Peace out to all of one, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh yeah! Greetings Transformers fans. My name is Alita One. I would like to thank you for watching JJ Prime Reviews. If you would like to see more reviews, live unboxings, or even tutorials on the channel, hit the subscribe button and smash that bell icon to get notified when a new video is uploaded on the channel. Thank you, and see you next time. Till all are one.